Political ads paid for by outside groups tend to have one goal, paint the candidate they oppose in the worst way possible. In Colorado's new congressional district number eight, there are competing ads attacking Democratic candidate Yodia Caraveo and Republican candidate Barbara Kirkmeyer. Yesterday, we truth tested the Caraveo attack ad, and tonight, politics guy Marshall Zellinger checks out the anti Kirkmeyer ad paid for by the DC based Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee. Kirkmeyer said gay marriage should be illegal in Colorado. This is close, but a little bit twisty, kind of like how those people just tornadoed out of the video. Republican candidate Barb Kirkmeyer most recently was asked about same sex marriage in an interview in July on Fox 31. But I believe that people should go to their religion and go to their faith and whatever happens within their faith and follow that. Previously, Kirkmeyer answered candidate questionnaires in 2014 and 2020. Kirkmeyer chose strongly agree on the question marriage is a union of one man and one woman. No government has the authority to alter this definition. She chose agree when asked governments should define marriage as between one man and one woman. But at the end of one of the questionnaires, she also wrote, I believe marriage should be defined by the church, not government. She denies the science of climate change and wants to eliminate protections that keep our air and water clean. On climate change? Kinda. Just before the primary in June, the Colorado Sun interviewed all four Republicans running for CD8. The question was, do you believe climate change is human caused? Kirkmeyer said, the earth has been gradually warming since the Little Ice Age. To what extent any warming as a result of man-caused activity is unknown. The part about eliminating protections that keep our air and water clean, what bit moji do I have for that? That's muddy. The claim is based on what she said at this Republican candidate forum in March. The EPA, man, it just needs to go. Way. But the EPA has done, has done an incredible job at killing oil and gas, both in water quality and air quality regulations. Ultimately, she said Congress needs to rein in the EPA, which she could try to do as a congresswoman. Congress writes laws. The EPA implements those laws. Kirkmeyer even backs a national abortion ban. No exceptions. This was true until most recently, when she started talking about one exception. I'm pro-life. And I always have been. She told Steve Steger last month she supports an exception if a mother's life is at risk. But in that 2020 questionnaire, which asked under what circumstances should abortion be allowed, Kirkmeyer wrote, I don't believe in abortion. When she ran for Congress in 2014, she was even more specific on the topic of exceptions. I don't agree to any exceptions to abortion. I reached out to Kirk Meyer's campaign today to get a sense of what happened between 2020 and today that has her saying she opposes abortion with one exception, the life of the mother. Her campaign manager emailed me back saying she's always supported an exception when the life of the mother is at stake. That would rewrite the history of what you just saw. Now, politicians can change their minds, Steve. I just wanted to be able to tell you what changed her mind, not the position they'd rather you know about today. Right. And while we're talking about rewriting history, we've got to remember that part of that report that we did about Barb Kirkmeyer was at the time she had taken that abortion stance off of her website as part of a national trend of a lot of people who are Republicans running for office taking that off their website. And doing that isn't even necessarily changing a position. It's just not reflecting that position or putting it front and center because that's not the message you want the voters to know now. It is when you were running in the primary, but not in the general. But when you suddenly start saying something else, I'd like to know why. One note. This ad will be running in, I think, the last commercial break. So just know we've covered it, and you're going to see it in about, I don't know, 13 minutes. Now you got the context. Marshall, he always gives it to you. Thank you.